I have a couple of quick little tips here for you when using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3 that I think you might find useful. We have a, a picture here, I'm in the library module and I have the quick develop panel open and if you look at the clarity and the vibrant slider here, if you hold down the alt or the option key, notice that the clarity and vibrance turning to sharpening and saturation. So there's a hidden little thing there that you can quickly change those as well in the quick develop module. Now let's pop over to the develop module here. Here's another quick little keyboard shortcut for you. I'm just going to close this panel to make this picture a little bigger. Let's say that you hit the R key to crop the picture and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to purposefully turn it at an angle there. So you got this photograph and you have a need to straighten it. What you can do is hold down the command key or it'd be a control key on the PC and it turns to this sort of little level finder here and you can click once and just drag a straight line and click it. And then when you release, it's going to automatically straighten it to that line that you draw for you. So whatever angle you put this line at, it's going to draw that and convert that to a, the sort of horizon line if you like. So there you go. Um, that's another quick little tip for you. Now what if you're working in the develop module and you really screw something up? Let, let's purposefully make this look really wacky here. I'm going to make it really dark. I'm just going to change these sliders to just clicking randomly to some crazy numbers. What you can do, if you notice the title here, Tone, and this happens on the other one's presence as well, but we wanted to do it with the Tone panel here, is if I hold down the Alt and the Option key, notice it says Reset. So now I can reset Tone or reset presence. And so with the Alt or Option key clicked, I'm just going to click on there and it's going to reset them back to where they were originally. So that's a useful quick little reset button for you if you really find that you've just, you're just not getting what you need. Another quick little one for you here that you may not be aware of. If I go to this black control here that controls where, you know, the black point is, if I hold down again the Alt or the Option key and click, what happens is now it's showing me where I'm going to be clipping as I drag. You can see those areas coming back. That's the area that's going to be clipped into the black there. So, you know, you can also do this the other way around. If you go to the recovery slider and hold down the Alt and Option key and click, you can see there's nothing here for me to recover, but it will be showing the same thing. You'd be showing where you'd be recovering or clipping the highlights. And again, I'll just do it with the black so you can really see it there. It's going to show, you know, these are the areas that are going to be clipped. And so you can see how they're filled in black there. If I just bring them back and open it up the detail and I can say, okay, that's good enough for me. You know, that's going to show you there as well. So that's a quick couple of little tips for you when working with some of the controls in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3.